Okay, so in this video I'm going to share with you four ways that you can market your small business or your dropshipping store to get sales. I have personally have already applied all these four methods to my small business and I am now applying them to my dropshipping store. So I am going to tell you a bit about my results and which one I personally think is more effective or which one has been more effective for my small business. Hey, it's Mariela. So I have now been running my small business for like over six months and I am now also getting into drop shipping. So if you want to see more videos of what has worked for me and also what has not worked for me, so maybe you could learn from my mistakes when growing your small business and your drop shipping store, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. Okay, so with no further ado, let's jump to the four ways to market your small business or your dropshipping store. I'm sure you have heard of all these methods. If not, I don't know what rock you're living under, but four ways to market your business. Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, influencers, and Instagram theme pages. And now to tell you a little bit of each one and how they have worked out for me. Okay, first things first, Facebook ads. So I actually recently started experimenting with Facebook ads. I bought like this course that taught me everything about Facebook ads because before all I knew about Facebook ads was like, you know how on Facebook and Instagram it's like that button that's like boost your post. I had tried doing that before just to see like how advertising looks like but the matter of the fact is there is so much more to Facebook ads than just hitting a boost post button. Like if you if that's all you're doing, you're probably just throwing money away. But long story short, I tested Facebook ads for about three weeks. I like to think that on those three weeks, I became an expert at setting up Facebook ads. But unfortunately, after three weeks and after spending so much money on these campaigns, I decided that it just was not the best method for me to market my small business. But there was so much that went into that three weeks of testing, so I don't wanna get too deep into it on this video because I feel like it just would take way too long. So I am gonna drop another video where I am going to reveal um, the budget, the, the interest that I use, how I set everything up, um, and my results um, following those three weeks and then that I would I guess would give you a better understanding of why I think it just was not very effective for my small business so if you are interested in seeing that make sure you hit that subscribe button and I am currently testing Facebook ads on my very first drop shipping store so we're also gonna see what comes out of that and what results I get from that Number two, Pinterest ads. Okay, so same thing as Facebook ads. I did not find a lot of success using Pinterest ads and I, I was so hopeful that Pinterest ads like was gonna be it for me because Pinterest has like all of these studies that say that 47% of Pinterest users actually go into the app with the intention to buy something. So I thought that was, that was awesome because I was like, well, dang, if you're running a Pinterest ad, that means that half of the people that you're reaching are more likely to buy, you know? So that was my mentality when I went into Pinterest ads. I actually, um, it was pretty cool. I actually worked really closely with a Pinterest ads representative, I guess, and they helped me set up the apps and everything. So I didn't have to like learn the ins and outs like I did with Facebook ads. But same thing, unfortunately, it just was not the greatest method to advertise my small business. I will also be dropping a video telling you guys exactly everything that went down in there, including budget, yada, yada, yada. So again, make sure you subscribe and wait up for that. Third method I have used to market my small business and generate sales, and this one is my favorite because it's actually the holy grail that has been getting me all my small business sales, and that is influencer marketing. But specifically, it has been Instagram influencer marketing. Never have I ever paid an influencer on Instagram to, you know, help me market my small business and not gotten a sale. So 
I swear by this because literally every time I paid for this type of promo, I always make sales. So from my experience, this has been the most cost effective because it has cost me less than running Facebook or Pinterest ads and it has always gotten me results. So it has always been the most profitable. This is what I have been doing. I have been using influencers since the beginning of my small business um, over six months ago and that is how I have been getting all my sales. Why I went into Facebook and Pinterest ads is because I wanted to find other ways so, to also market. You shouldn't just, I guess, put your eggs all in one basket and also Finding influencers to market your your product or you know to pay promo to can be very time consuming, especially if you are working with a specific budget because a lot of influencers have like crazy prices. So it can be very, very time consuming to find an influencer that is willing to work with your rates, which is the downside and the reason I started experimenting with Facebook and Pinterest ads because I found myself spending so much time having to find these influencers where like Facebook and Pinterest, you just set up the ad and you're reaching a lot more people. But also the reason why I think influencer marketing has been more effective than ads marketing is because when people follow an influencer, they have like some kind of trust towards that person so if that person is telling them like oh this product is awesome then they're going to believe that over just seeing an ad you know and usually people are getting bombarded with ads all day every day but there's so there was like no trust in an ad but they have a lot of trust on an influencer so i have specifically been using instagram influencers i have tried using tiktok influencers but i realized tiktok doesn't quite have the audience i'm looking for and i am now trying to go over to youtube influencers because youtube videos are pretty cool because they live forever but that is also more costly so yeah instagram influencer i swear by it holy grail i don't regret testing out facebook and pinterest ads even though i literally spent more money on those than i have ever spent on influencers but hey it's about trial and error and see what works for you and you got to take the chances to grow your business right last but not least actually yeah this is least i hate this marketing method it has not worked for me so it is least instagram theme pages. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what an Instagram theme page is, essentially it's one of those pages that has a lot of followers, but there it's people not really following an influencer. Like it's not focused on one particular person, but it's focused on like a theme. For example, like cats or pets or cosmetics or you know skincare things like that so you will usually go into these pages and see just like a lot of posts that were sourced from up from influencers usually in this one page so instagram theme pages drop shippers swear by it they're like before you even start doing Facebook ads, you should try doing Instagram theme pages to make sure the product is a winning product, yada, yada, yada. But personally, I do not like Instagram theme pages. They have not been effective for me at all. Every time I have used an Instagram theme page, I have never made my money back in sales. I have, sometimes I would even pay Instagram theme pages to like post my advertising and I don't even get sales at all. It just has not been effective for me personally and I think the reason behind it is that Instagram theme pages are not very personable. And what I mean by that is like on an influencer page, there's trust there, right? Like the followers trust that page, whereas people usually just follow Instagram theme pages like just to see like random posts or maybe sometimes even for the aesthetic, but they don't really, follow Instagram theme pages to learn about new products or to learn about new things like they would for a influencer, you know? And also when it comes to Instagram theme pages, it is so easy to get scammed out of your money. And let me tell you how. So like I said, Instagram theme pages are not a person. It is not a person image. It is literally just random posts from other influencers or from everywhere in the web in this one page. See, the problem with that is that nowadays it's so 
easy to make a page look legit. It is just too easy nowadays to just put a bunch of posts in a page, buy followers, and you can even buy likes. You can buy views and just make it look like a page has so many followers and has amazing engagement. And because it is so easy to make an Instagram theme page look like it's so successful, even though it's not, it is so easy to also end up paying a fake Instagram theme page like the one I just described for a post. And guess what? You're not going to get anything out of it because the followers are fake, the engagement is fake, and technically you're paying an Instagram theme page for nobody to see your ad. So there are just too many fake pages out there that it has gotten way too difficult to decide which ones are actually legit and good enough to pay for promo. So those are the four ways that I have marketed my small business to generate sales. I hope you guys found this helpful. As I mentioned, I will be dropping videos going very into detail into each and one of these, especially Facebook and Pinterest ads. Gonna show you what, how I have set them up and how I have set up the budget, how much money I have spent or maybe even wasted on testing these type of ads. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm and comment down below any questions you might have or what other videos you would like to see. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Oh, and make sure to follow on Instagram as well. Bye.